Hi guys, it's Vita from Honest and Tasty, and it is brunch time. It's the weekend, and I want some pancakes. I'm gonna make some brown sugar and banana pancakes. These are my favorite pancakes when I really wanna treat myself. I am completely in love with these, and they're really, really easy to make. So let's get to it, it's so we can eat. So I'm just going to peel some bananas. So I'm slicing the bananas at an angle just because it makes them pretty when we top our pancakes with them. For the batter in a medium sized bowl, we're just cracking four eggs. Add a teaspoon of vanilla and whisk. Okay. To a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add the dry ingredients. We're gonna start out with a cup of flour, four tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. Give it a mix. Add two cups of sour cream. Give it a mix until it's just incorporated. And lastly for the batter, we're just going to whisk in the egg mixture. And again, just when this gets incorporated, we're gonna stop. We're not gonna over mix. So we're using a cast iron griddle to cook the pancakes. You can also use a non-stick pan. Make sure it's buttered. Add small scoops of the batter. And then put some banana pieces on top, little slices of banana. Sweet banana. It does make the flipping much easier when the pancakes are smaller because the bananas are heavy. And just take spoonfuls of light brown sugar and spoon it over the pancakes. It's okay if you have clumps. It's just gonna be sweet and delightful and caramelized. Once they start forming bubbles at the top, that means the bottom side is cooked, so we're gonna flip them. Let them go for about another minute on the flip side and they should be good to go. All these need is a little maple syrup and some butter. But let me just try them as is because they're all so good like that. Can't wait. So good. The bananas start caramelizing on their own because of the sugars that are in it. The extra help from the brown sugar doesn't hurt. It makes it so good. And it just makes it a little bit crispy, but very, very, very sweet and delightful. So please go to my website, honestandtasty.com, where you can find the recipe. Subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Bye-bye.